several people who have come here, several presidential candidates, none of them have chosen to visit those camps and look at their plight and see how they are doing and at least giving them hope that when they win, they will bring succor, they will bring help, they will bring hope to the people, none of them. And for you to have chosen to visit the IDPs, and not just on an ordinary day, on a Christmas day that you should be celebrating with your family, you're here visiting IDP camps. For me, as a Christian, I have nothing to say than to say, God will bless you. God will bless your ambition. God will bless whatever aspiration you have. The aspiration to be president of this country, my prayer is that God will bless you. And to reiterate my earlier comment, which I said, that because I have seen capacity, I have seen faith and hope, and I have seen someone that can bring the required justice, equity, and fairness that some of us have been pursuing since I became governor in 2015. If I were not in PDP, I would have been following you all over the place to canvass, vote for you. But because I'm in PDP, I'm still telling Nigerians that this is a man that can help deliver this country from the challenges that we have today. <laughs> Nigerians should not be living in camp in their country. So appealing to government, federal government, whatever it takes to ensure that Nigerians don't live as refugees in their country must be done. I'm sure the next government, as we progress, will ensure that this does not continue. Amen. Today we're here just to ensure you to remain faithful, remain prayerful, keep all your hope in God. What you're passing through is what Nigeria is passing through. Because you are a child of God, you are Nigerian. You're Nigerians. So whatever affects you affects everybody in Nigeria. We cannot go out and say we're doing well when you're here. As long as you remain here, Nigeria is not doing well. It is when you live here and you're in your homes farming and doing what you're supposed to do to help to make Nigeria productive that Nigeria will say, be proud to say they are Nigerians. As long as you remain in IDP camp, Nigeria is in IDP camp. Yes. Because these are Nigerians. So I've come here to celebrate with you. I've told them, my brother, that I'll come, thank you, do Christmas for you. I would have said, let me go and buy Coke. Fanta or anything to give you, but I told my friend that whatever I have, I will try to bring. But know that I'm very happy that my Christmas is spent with you today. I'm very happy as I'm pained that Nigerians are in camp. I'm pained that Nigerians are in camp, but. Like I said, you are in camp, we are also in camp. Because if you were in your home today, I would have been in my home. Yes. But since you are here, we can't continue to celebrate when you are here. That's why I said that once you are here, Nigeria is in camp. I'm very, 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 very happy for what uh, incoming president 
of Nigeria, Mr. Obi. We are appreciate for what the man came do for this my camp. For my sin and for my own praying, I'm praying for me. Almighty God, look the way that we put the man in proper way and make the man that she will succeed what his plan is in mind. For what the man can show for my future in this my camp. For my sitting, I never, never see what this thing that the man come do for one this my camp. And direct put, put more effort in making sure that these attackers that will come to attack us to chase them, maybe chase them away, away or calm the situation. I feel very bad, very, very bad. At least I thought that maybe the sixth year or the fifth year, my fifth year in the camp, God will help me to be out in my own village. But I am not in my, it's unfortunate that I'm not in my own village. I pray that this Peter Obi that came, I pray that God should help me to govern us so that this situation will calm 